For years, people who identify as LGBTQ plus were not allowed to serve as clergy members in the United Methodist Church. Now the church has repealed that rule. Our Ray Arena joins us live from Lee Road United Methodist Church with reaction. Ray? And the church has this lighthouse, which tells people that they are welcome if they step inside. Now they say these new rules are a step in the right direction. The United Methodist Church repealing a long-standing rule preventing people who identify as LGBTQ plus from serving as clergy. Reverend Rusty Godfrey says he's happy and pleased with the change. I was very pleased and happy because I've been in much prayer for this convention that this would be the moment when the United Methodist Church would realize that God's love is for all people, not just for some. Church delegates from around the world also voted to prevent regional leaders from penalizing clergy members who perform a same-sex marriage. And so prior to uh, this conference, um, if I wish to officiate for a gay marriage, then I could be sanctioned. I could lose my ability to preach. Church members are celebrating the changes. Oh, that was pretty overwhelming. Including Chandler Silvers, who got engaged to her fiancé last year. It means that my life can, we can move forward and I can be married by a preacher of my faith and that means a lot to me. Her fellow churchgoers are also applauding the changes. Because I think it's the right thing to do. Um, it's, we are not here to judge other people. We're here to love other people. For Silvers, this new direction reassures her that her faith lines up with who she is. I'm hoping that it will open some people's eyes that are maybe closed-minded to me that don't know me, but now this is like a huge way, like you don't have to know me personally, but you kind of get a glimpse of my life and that my church is accepting of me. Godfrey says the rule changes will take effect when the church's general conference wraps up this Friday. Live in Greenville County, Ray Arena, WYFF News 4.